today I am heading to one of the largest temple in Yogyakarta that is Prambanan. Here in uh, Yogyakarta, a place which is right in Indonesia, in the center of Indonesia. And right now I'm here in one of the largest temples that is built on earth, that is in Indonesia. The temple is Prambanan. The temple which has got the Shiva, Vishnu and the Brahma for the three altars. So right behind this one is you can see Prambhanan, the temple. I'm going to enter inside the courtyard to get a ticket for that. So let me go inside. And here we are going to Prambhanan temple. And I just got a combo ticket. It's 540 for combined ticket with Prambanan and Borobudur Park. And so right now I got just checked inside the temple complex. It's one of the biggest one in Asia. And I'm really very much eager to visit this one. And so I'm heading on the way inside. And at my back you can see a gallery of umbrellas which welcomes you. A beautiful sign from Berlas, I think. It's just like a, a curtain, it is here, and you can just walk in here. So, in a couple of moments, I'll be ready to see the biggest temple that has ever been constructed on earth for Shiva, Brahma, and Vishnu, the massive one. Here, are you ready to see that? The one that is right behind me in Prambanan temple. And this is the combo ticket that I purchased for uh, Borobudur and the Prambanan temple. It costs 40 US dollars. And this temple has got a rich history. And uh, during 2006, a major earthquake has shattered this building. And uh, with the help of UNESCO and the government of Indonesia, they have taken a renovation steps to get back this building on its path. But you can see a lot of shattered bricks or the surpassed over there here scattered over there because of the earthquake because Indonesia is a country which has got a lot more volcanoes and it is a country which has got affected by much by volcanoes and right behind me you can see the huge park it's the candy of uh, Rambanan temple so right now yeah, what you are seeing is the magnificent masterpiece of the Prambanan temple complex. This is this really massive, massive, massive complex which has a central main tower with small towers around it. And you can see a lot more rumbles of the temple which has got shattered during the earthquake. You can see a lot more around. This is the temple complex, a massive, which stands as epitome of the Hindu religion which existed in Indonesia. And this is really a wonderful masterpiece, right? And you can see a lot more of the scattered stones of this religious architecture from Banan. And this is a place where people they used to take from Banan photographs from this position. From Banan. And so well, I entered into the temple complex. On the right behind me, what you're seeing is the largest temple that is the from Banan here. You can see the Goparas. The candies over here in the back. So let me go inside that. The temple is really massive, but the earthquake has demolished a lot of its rich aspects, which is you can see the scattered rumbles over here, which has been devastated by the earthquake in 2006. The government is building it up. You can see there are a lot of numerous candies, small, small temples around the complex, which was shaken and shattered. In the right, the middle of the one, which is the intact, you can see one, two, three. Five surrounded the Goparas or the structures, each one of as a temple. And the main three gods are Shiva, Brahma, and Vishnu. Built in the, the 10th creator, century, the this is the largest the temple compound dedicated to Shiva in Indonesia. Prambanan is the biggest and most complete remains of the Java's period of Hindu culture built in the middle of 9th century AD, around 50 years later than Borobudur.
situated about 17 kilometers east of Yogyakarta, King Balithung Mahasambhu built the Prambanan temple in the middle of the 9th century. The massive Hindu temple was first built in a smaller scale by Raki Pittakan, a king from Sanjay dynasty of Mataram kingdom in central Java. It was later expanded into a massive complex by the successive kings. Prambanan was completely in ruins for years until 1937 when the reconstruction started. This is really a magnificent masterpiece of the kings who built this huge massive complex in Indonesia which attracts thousands and millions of visitors every year. In 1811, the British administration rediscovered the two temples by chance. The king built Prambanan to honor the Hindu gods and mark the return of Hindu dynasty in Java after a long era of Buddhism. But the Brahmanan temple was abandoned around the 10th century. Some say it was because of the Mount Merapi's eruption, while others believe it's due to a political struggle. century this is the largest temple compound dedicated to Shiva in Indonesia the notable thing about the Shiva statue in the is that the Hindu god stands on a giant lotus flower which is a symbol of Hindu Buddhism you can see the Shiva statue inside the central sanctum seated on a standing posture on lotus Rising above the center of the last of these th concentric squares are three temples decorated with reliefs illustrating the epic of the Ramayana. The temple is dedicated to the three great Hindu divinities Shiva, Vishnu and Brahma. The three temples dedicated to the animals who serve them. Prambanan temple itself is a complex consisting of 240 temples in it. It's a massive, massive complex. The highest central courtyard consists of 8 minor and 8 main shrines, each with beautifully carvings containing religious statues inside. incredibly 47 meters high and its rocks are beautifully carved. The walls are decorated with reliefs illustrating the Indonesian version of Ramayana epic which are the masterpieces of stone carvings. carvings of the walls with the Hindu gods and deities and the historical tales everything depicted on the walls. The 
temple is really huge and you can see the intricate deities carvings on all sides wherever you turn you can see a lot of fine carvings of the Hindu gods the priests and various cultural things that is depicted on the walls of the temple
restoration works have been conducted since 1918 both in original traditional methods of interlocking stones and modern methods using concrete to strengthen the temple structure. In due course, several stones have fallen off and the archaeological department is taking immense steps to reconstruct and to maintain this huge massive complex so that the visitors can witness this historical place of importance and its grandeur. The restoration process is still not nearly completed even until now. You can see a lot of rumbles around and it's still under progress. Prambanan Temple Complex has architecture elements of both Hindu and Buddhism which is a remarkable, remarkable construction in the world. It's really unique and it's really a massive one where the both religions have come together. With over 500 temples, Prambanan Temple compound represents not only an architectural and cultural treasure, it also a standing proof of the past religious peaceful cohabitation that existed. You can enjoy the sunrise in the area of the open air theater and archaeological park of the temple before sunrise about 5 a.m. in the morning. When you come to this place at the early morning hours, you can really enjoy a calm and serene atmosphere and you can walk around the religious sites. And the one that you are looking like right now is the rumbles. The one that you're looking right now is also the rumbles of the numerous candies or the smaller temples that is situated around this huge massive temple complex which was completely destroyed and it is still under reconstruction. So this is a massive complex. The Prambanan compound represents and presents the grandest culture of Shiva's art as a masterpiece of the classical period in Indonesia and the region of when you are in Yogyakarta this is a must-do thing because people from all over the world come to this place to witness this huge massive architectural and the historical heritage site which is a remarkable one and as you just look along you can see a lot of smaller candies that has been destroyed during the earthquake and still under reconstruction. So this is the rear side of the massive architecture of the Prambanan temple. So today it took around two to two and a half hours for me to walk around and go inside and come down it's definitely a worth you must visit this place when you are in Jakarta it's a top two list of things so this the archaeological park is very well maintained and it's lovely as you walk around there are a lot of green lawns and pathways and there are refreshment stalls and uh, bathrooms and toilet facilities and with restaurants and refreshments so it's really a massive and remarkable experience for me of visiting this lovely and the historical Prambanan temple. So with the memories of this beautiful architectural marvel, I take leave of this temple departing. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and if you like my videos, please do share it. Thank you.